hey, we're going to add in a services section where you may be showing off what you do uh, or what services you offer. Now, this page has been modified since the last video. You might notice the yellows are now a more softer, pastel-y color. I've changed this image over here with a dark black background. This container here now has a background image with a little bit of overlay. You know, we've done videos on overlay. And down here, we've got another section. I've just called it a review section with a bit of text in there, and it's got a background image and some overlay as well. What we're gonna do is add something that sits in between here. Um, I'm gonna create it at the bottom, and I'm gonna maneuver it into position later on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our services section. I'm just gonna click down here, and we're gonna click section container. I'm gonna name it as services section, and basically it's a section and a container, right? There's nothing flash going on there. What I will do though for the services is just give it about, uh, give it about 100 and 100 there, just so that when we are building it, we can see it a little bit better, because at the minute it's rooted right to the bottom of the screen. Now, into to this container, we're going to add three services. Now, there's many ways you could do this. You could add in an icon, a heading, a rich text, and then maneuver them. Sometimes, though, unless you the number of words or characters you have are consistent, you might end up messing around with flex and getting things aligned correctly. You know, like let's say you got a paragraph with uh, 20 words and another one with 30 words, things start to move out of line. So I'm going to keep this really simple. What we're going to do is just drop in a block into the container, and into the block we are going to add in a icon box like that. Okay, so just click and it drops in. If it drops outside, say over here, just pick it up and move your mouse over the parent where you want it to sit into and that will be fine. So there we go, we've got the icon box. Now this icon box, pretty simply, if you go to content, it's just a icon and you have content. Pretty simple, right? So let me just go into icon. I'm gonna put one in for web design and now, you do have to kind of know where you're going here and you might have to experiment. It'd be nice if there was a feature that just said all, but that's just the way it is. I'm gonna to go to Ion Icons and I'm pretty sure if I type desk, there it is. We're gonna stick that computer image in over there. We are then gonna to go to content. We have the heading over here and we have our text. I'm just gonna change this text to be web design like that. This is all fake text by the way, all right? Don't worry about it. Now this is the point where you could start stylizing it, move the icon to be in the middle, the fonts and all of that, but there is a danger to that. If you do that and then you duplicate or you create another icon box somewhere else, you might want to replicate the styling you got here. So my tip to you would be go in over here and create one. We're going to call it icon box style. Now it's in yellow. Any changes we make now will be applied across the board. Now over here, we do have an item called spacing. If I do that, that's just gonna space out the items and how they sit in terms of the icon. So I'm just gonna do that for now. We'll put in a 20. I'm gonna go to the icon now and hit that in center. This is all being applied to the icon box style. I'm going over to the style option. I'm gonna to go to my layout, go to my padding, and I'm gonna give this about a 40, sorry, why did I link it? I don't need to link it. I'm gonna do about 25 on the left and right and 40 at the top and bottom. The one thing to bear in mind though, is that in the style option, you don't have typography, but don't worry, it's, it is still there. It is over in the content tab, but if we scroll down here, you do have settings over here you could do, because this is you know the rich text box if you want to get funky, or you could start sticking in some code as well. But if you just scroll down, you can add decide on the style. So let's go to the heading typography, ensure that is definitely in black. We'll go with a font size of 2.2 REM, something like that. Uh, we are going to make this one be centered, though. Uh, uppercase, yeah. no, we'll leave it as lowercase, leave it as like that. And that's all we're going to do there for the heading typography. Now for the body, again, you just go through the motion. I'm going to leave it as left aligned. The font size, I am going to make the 1.6 REM like that and I'm gonna make the font weight for this be a 400 as well. You will notice though, is that the margin and padding applies to everything in here. 
So if I was to go and see and say, oh, I don't want the paragraph to be so close to the word web design and I do that, it actually takes it away from the icon. That's pretty easy to sort out. What you really have to do is kind of come over here and I could put in a return like this. Sorry, it's kind of moved out and it's now moved it down. Simplest way is just to go to content, go over here and where I've got web design and starting from and I'm just gonna hit another return. If I now save that and we preview it, you can basically see what we've got going on over here. The thing that's missing though is a button. Now don't worry about the style. We are going to modify the colors and all of that as well. So let me now just go down to my icon box. We're missing a button, like I just said. I'm going to go over to my hero section right at the top and I'm going to pick up the second button we got here. It's this black one. I'm going to copy that go down to where I've got my icon box here. So what we now have is the icon box and we have the button below as well. Now do remember though, if you start to modify anything in this button, um, if I click it, if you do this, it will apply it to the button style above as well, which I don't really want. So just make sure that isn't in yellow or go and create a completely different style as well. Before I start to add in duplicates of this and uh, modify the content, I wanna check how this looks in the mobile, but to really get a proper visual feel, I'm gonna go over to my uh, container number one, and I'm going to ensure that this is a 1000 pixel width uh, across the screen. So we go to layout for the container and I'm going to drop in 1000. Okay. Now this block is currently going all the way across. I'm going to have three blocks. Okay. And I want a space of 50 pixel and 50 pixels in between. So two times 50 is 100. 1000 take away 100 is 900. 900 divided by three is 300 pixels. The maths is pretty simple. Let's go over here to our block and I'm going to say make the width of this be 300. We can see what it's doing now. What I'm now going to do though is go over to my container. Actually, no, not the container, sorry. I'm going to go over to my services section and I'm now going to make the background of this have some color. We'll go with this light gray color like that. I'm going to go back over to my block. I'm probably doing this in the wrong order, but I'm sure you can see where we're going with it. I'm going to make this be white. Now I can clearly see what's going on because if you start to guess and you don't have colors, sometimes you visually can't work out what you're doing. Let me just go back to my services section and remove that uh, pad, uh, the margin we had there. In fact, let me just clear it out. <laughs> okay, why well, have I got that? And let me just put in 80 at the top and 80 at the bottom there. So if we now just visualize that now, that is how it looks. And now can you see the button is right at the bottom? You know, that's because the block, we haven't really added much padding in. Let me show you what I mean by that. If we go to our block, there is no padding applied. We've got some going on here, but not at the bottom. So I'm going to go with, give me about 40 there. Let's just check that out. That's now looking better. However, if I was to now duplicate this block, which contains the icon box and everything else, let me just duplicate it and duplicate it again. You're probably wondering where are they? Well, that's because the container is still set as a column. The, the default is a column approach. So they're completely below one another, right? Look, there they are, and there's the second. Let's sort that out. Let's put it all as a row. Excellent. But now they're right up against one another, okay? I've already made them 300 width, pixels width, but it's a 1,000 in totality. So how do I sort that out? Well, really easy again. Just go for space between. They are now rooted to the left and right with the equal space between, which will be 50 and 50. So far, so good. And the great thing about using the icon box and that button is that the, everything looks nice. However, don't be deceived, okay, by what you see here, because this is all the same content, okay? I've now modified the content, but can you see a problem? Let me just show you if I bring this in over here. Everything here is in line. All of these are in line as well, even the top of the icons, but look at the buttons. Look at where this, where this button starts. It is, it is not in line with this one here or this one here either. Can you see, look, it sits above. So we've got a problem here at the moment. And if I go over here to the bottom of these boxes, again, they're just not in line. So how do we sort that out? Here's where the Flexbox is gonna save us. Let's go to the container. The direction is row. We are still doing the space between, but where we have the cross axes, okay, we have this option here called stretch. Look at the bottom over here. When I hit stretch, 
Everything now is at the bottom. Everything is in line. The only trouble, though, is the buttons are still not in line. Well, that, again, is pretty easy to sort out because we used blocks. I'm going to go into my block. Over here, we have we don't need to change the direction or anything like that because everything is normally set to column. If I now go here to space between, the button moves down a little bit because I've, had, I've said 40 pixels from the bottom. So now it's moved and there's 40 pixel letters now. I mean, I could just do the same, but I'm going to be a bit of a cheat and just go copy and uh, paste style and the button moves down and I'm just going to go with uh, paste style as well. Now, when we save and view that, everything is in line, right? Now, you could do this, like I said, individually using a, a block or a div or something like that. You could put an individual icon in, a heading in. There's always a danger, though, that sometimes it's a bit more trickier and you end up messing around with flex quite a lot and the directions and margins and stuff like that. But this is a very, very simple, easy way of doing things. And maybe you don't like it with the buttons being like that. Notice the buttons, how they're on the left hand side. Well, I could now go over to, say, the very first block. I could go to the button to style, scroll down until you get to flex. And over here, you have a stretch. Well, look at that. It's now just stretched all the way. I mean, <laughs> OK, um, I probably have to adjust the padding on there. OK, and I'm not going to do it now for the purpose of this tutorial. But if you stretched it and I had some padding in there, that would have taken it all the way across. But there we go. That is now really, really simple. However, there is the question to answer about the mobile. Now have a bit of a problem with the fact that each of these blocks I had set to be 300 pixels in width. So I'm going to go to layout and the 300 remains for the desktop. But in the mobile, I'm going to say make it be 100%. But now I'm right up against the border. That's just not looking good now, is it? Well, again, really easy to sort out. I'm just going to go to my container and I'm going to say, hey, you know what? Give me some padding of about 25 on the left and 25 on the right. There we go. We've moved it inward. And as far as the block goes, I'm just going to copy this style, paste style and paste style. Now, normally, the better way to do this would have been to create a style for the icon box, right? So whatever you do to one, it would now replicate across the board. I've just been a bit lazy here, so please excuse that, all right? What I am gonna do though to the middle block that we got here is just give it some padding of about 40 and 40 on the bottom as well. The purpose of the tutorial, it is fine. Now I'm just gonna pick up this services section and I'm gonna move it to kind of sit there in between the mock-up and the review, the new review section that we added. So what we now have is a bit of a variation there in the layout, okay? And if we now just view it on the live site, when we get down over here, well, sorry, there it is. You've now got the services section before we hit this review section down here. Just one quick review, like a quote I've popped in there. So, uh, you know, I mean, it's not overly stylish. There's not much color going on. There's no real images or anything like that. I haven't even changed the icons, by the way. Next time you see this, the icons will be changed. The next video we are going to do is going to be a team section before we get onto the footer. So I'm Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe. Subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win your life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back. Put me in the ring.